All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS animation by building a Ferris wheel. Step 20. So the animation name property is used to link a keyframes rule to a CSS selector. The value of this property should match the name of the keyframes rule. We'll give our wheel selector an animation name property set to wheel, okay? Uh, so the animation duration property is used to set how long the animation should sequence to complete, okay? Uh, the time should be specified in either seconds, S, or milliseconds, MS, okay? We'll set our wheel selector to have an animation duration property of 10 seconds, okay? So first off, we're going to give it a name property so that it'll link to, I guess, the HTML? No. Is that what it is? No. <laughs> okay, let's just give it the name property. Uh, animation name property. Let's do that. So animation hyphen name is now wheel. All right. And then we'll say animation hyphen duration is now uh, 10 S. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like a bunch of flags until it gets down to this, but yeah. So let's uh, cap this off with the semicolon like that. Oh, look, it's gonna do it again. Awesome. Check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, there it goes again. Now we're on to uh, step 21, and we'll see you next time.